Hey, what's happening? Tim with Nomad Trading. Market's selling off again for whatever reason. Uh, it's not, I don't see it being the bond thing currently, but anyway, markets are selling off. So I thought I'd just jump on here and make a video. It's been a minute. So I'm going to talk about some patterns, a couple of patterns. As a new trader, you're probably curious. Um, how, do you, how do you see patterns in real time as they develop? So I'm going to give you just a couple of examples, not irrelevant old examples, but actual today examples, just a couple I've ran across today that stood out to me. So I'm going to show you a, a bull flag and a bear flag both today and how to identify them and how to trade them. So we'll look at that. Before we get into that, make sure you like, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, the little red the red, little red button, uh, notifications on, of course, on so YouTube recommends my videos as I post them. All those wonderful things that help the algorithm. I sure do appreciate it. Also, I've got a link in the description for Chart Watcher, which is the scanning program that I use. If you're interested in that, click that link. You can get the uh, scanning program. It is free unless you want to upgrade, but you don't even really need to if you, if you don't want to. So it is a free scanner. Also, I began a consultation for 50 bucks an hour. You can do one-on-one -on -one time with me. I'm not some amazing trader. Uh, I don't claim to be, but what I can do is help you with setting up your platforms, um, simple basic technical analysis, just kind of understanding the basics of stock trading. I won't give you stock picks or financial advice. I'm not licensed to do any of that kind of stuff, but I will help you from an educational standpoint. If you're interested in that, email me at nomadtradinglife at gmail.com. I've already had uh, a little bit of action on that. Got another one that I'm setting up uh, today and another one coming up. So people are kind of liking that access to one-on-one -on -one time, just helping people get set up and understanding the market. So if you're interested in that, make sure you email me, hit me in the comments, whatever. Why are you not working computer? Come on computer. Don't fail me now while I've got millions or at least hundreds of people watching. Uh, so yeah, here's the market. Uh, it's a good rep representation of it. It's SPY, the S&P ETF. So yeah, basically it sold off and went uh, green to red on the day and it just keeps selling. I don't know why. We were seeing that when it was tracking with the 10-year the bond yield as it rose. The market was tracking down, but at this point, I'm not really sure why it's going down. I have not seen that. I did look at the bond yield and yeah, it, it's not been tracking up it's actually been tracking ticking down a little bit it is high compared to what it was like a week ago but it's been kind of trailing off so not really sure what is causing the market to sell off at this point but anyway it's a good opportunity to make a video so if we look at this let me just show you um a a picture real quick of the the pattern that you're looking for so if we just type in bear flag into google and bring up images, right? I will just bring this over here. So what you're gonna see, this is a good, just quick cartoon version of it. The stock's going down, it's gonna consolidate somewhat up, and then as it breaks down lower, it's gonna have another leg down. That's, that's a bear flag. So you would wanna go short at this point right here. Or if you're trying to bounce play, and it starts to break that, that level right there, resistance, that's when you wanna cut and get out of the way. So that is a, a, a bear flag. I can, an example of that in real life today would be, I mean, you can see it several different times on this, um, but the most pronounced time would be this one here. Um, this is the one minute chart of Tesla. So as you can see, it's selling off. This is your, your pull. Then it consolidates upwards, which would be your flag. And then as it breaks below that, as you can see, we got another another leg down. So that would be your point when it breaks that level right there to either sell if you're long or to uh, go short. That would be an example of a bear flag in real time. Um, then it continues on down. You could also say that this one here is somewhat of one, but it's just kind of curved, so it's not as good of an example. But I mean, that could be your full your uh, pull, and then this would be your flag right here. And then as it breaks down, we got a leg down. 
and then uh, it forms again, and then it breaks down. So you can see these patterns happening on all different time frames throughout the day, over and over and over again on different stocks. Uh, let's do an example real quick of a bull flag. So here again, Google, just type in a pattern such as bull flag, and you're gonna see like a good cartoon version of what that would look like. So you're gonna have your flag pull up, then you're gonna have your actual flag consolidating, then it breaks to the upside. This is where you would wanna go long, or if you're short, you might cover at that point. Uh, but um, when it breaks out above that consolidation to the upside, that's your point of entry. And then let's look at an example of today's market where this occurred a couple of different times. We have UPST, very hot stock today, um, one that's been up, up huge the last couple of days. If you look, this stock was down $60 just yesterday. Now it's way up in the hundreds, so big gains. So if we look over here on the one minute chart, and this will work on different time frames, like I said, but I'm just showing you the one minute at the moment. So you got your flag pull right here. You got your flag right here as it consolidates down. Then as it breaks above that, uh, and again, trend lines, for those of you wondering, there's no exact science to this. This is the trend line trading and, and uh, patterns. It's not gonna be exact. There might be a tick that goes through that line and it pulls back through. Uh, so don't uh, get too frustrated with, you know, one or two ticks going through your line. It's, there's no exact science to it. So I've roughly drawn these real quick. Um, didn't spend a bunch of time on it. But anyway, you get the point. So you got your flag pull. You got your flag as it comes down. When it breaks above that, that's where you go long. That's a bull flag. And how does it work? It works great. It just continues going up. Your entry would have been around 105. It never got down to 105 again throughout the day. So you would have made money no matter where you sold it. Um, then we got the next leg here. We got another um, bull, bull flag, the pull right here. Then the flag coming down a little bit lower than I would like. I would have liked to have seen it stop up here, but it still works as it breaks above this uh, trend line right here, the top of the bull, bull flag, then you go long. So you would have been going long somewhere around 117 and it went all the way up into the 124 range. So another winner there. Now we see it breaking down. At this point, uh, the bull pattern is somewhat broken, at least uh, from what we were seeing. This would be more of the back side of the move at this point. And then we'll, we'll look to see if it can get a bounce anywhere off of this consolidation or maybe view up or perhaps where it's at right now. We'll just have to watch it. But anyway, good examples of uh, a couple of um, stock patterns in real time. So that's how you do it. You take the, just learn the patterns. You can, you can type them into Google. You can learn them a lot of different ways. Then you try to apply them into real life in the markets as you see them developing. As you see this uh, start and consolidate down, you draw your lines and then you just watch. It might have broke out here. Uh, it ended up breaking out down here, but it doesn't really matter. If it breaks out up here, that's, that's your long buy right there. If it breaks out down here, same thing. So you just kind of let the pattern develop, be patient with it, and then go long when the, when the pattern develops. Same thing with the, the short side on Tesla. So there you have it. That's a couple of patterns in real life, in the market, today uh, examples. If you like it, make sure you hit the thumbs up, all that wonderful YouTube stuff. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace. If you made it this far, first of all, I just want to say I love you. You must have liked the video, so make sure you give me that thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. Notifications on, of course. And then click on one of my videos to the side. If the YouTube algorithm is doing its job, there should be one over there. If not, just go to my page and check it out. Thanks for watching. Peace.